Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kina and I am back with another wig review. So this hair is from a company called Dora Hair. I have their 13 by 6 lace frontal wig and this texture is deep curly and the color is natural and this is 150% density and 20 inches. All of that information will be in my description box below also with a link going directly to this wig so make sure you guys go check that out okay so right here i just want to show you guys how the wig looks after i bleach the knots and this is without me doing any plucking and y'all this wig looks amazing like the pre-plucking on this wig is done so so well so yeah i absolutely love that so right here i'm taking some of my gossipy glue gel and i'm just going to Put them on my edges and comb them back out the way because I want to keep my edges. So yeah. So right here I'm just putting it on my stocking cap and I am going to cut out the little ear parts of the stocking caps. Well not the ear parts but where my ears are because this is just going to help the stocking cap lay down where my ears are a little bit better. And I'm taking some of this um, got to be glued and I'm just going to put that on the areas where you see and i'm going to take a little bit of this bow hold and you guys saw the little drop that i use so don't think it's a lot you guys saw the little drop and i'm going to put that right there and this is just going to help the um stocking cap lay and stay down without it rolling up and lifting because y'all know that it's like a hard thing for everyone the stocking cap is always lifting by the ears so I thought this would be a great idea and I actually really loved how it turned out and yeah I also sprayed some of my um, freeze spray on there also just to give it a little bit more security a little bit more hold and yeah as you guys can see I can lift this stocking cap and it is not ripping out my edges because it's not on my edges okay okay y'all don't worry I'm not gonna rip out my edges I know in my last video a lot of people was like oh that's so much glue it's gonna rip out your edges not if you know how to take the glue off I'm gonna do a whole video on how I do it so don't worry okay so right here I'm just using some of my bow hold again and I'm gonna put that right where the stocking cap um, begins and I'm going to do that one layer. I'm only doing one because I'm not going to leave this wig on for long. Y'all, actually, this was on the 4th of July. So, yeah. Okay, so right here, I did put some of my um, Ruby Kisses foundation under the lace because I want it to blend with my skin and yeah and I am now just using my comb just to press my lace into that glue I'm going to use my blow dryer on heat as you guys always know I use heat because that's the only setting that this blow dryer has okay so um, I'm going to blow dry my hair for about 10 minutes and we are ready to style this wig and I never know what I want to do with these wigs y'all so I just was like you know what I haven't done a side part with curly hair so let's do that and y'all I love Eric and Tay on Instagram and I saw that he did a side part before um, on someone else's head and I'm like you know what let's try that and he had some baby hairs that I was just like girl we gotta try that so that's what I mimicked in this video okay do y'all see this though you can't tell me that this doesn't look good like where's your lace sis where's the lace point to it okay show me I'm just playing y'all Y'all know I get geek when my hair is like looking all late. I'm just taking my eyebrow archer and I'm cutting those baby hairs. And what I have learned, y'all, we do not need long baby hairs. You don't need them to be long. So right here, they were long. And as I was swooping, I was just like, girl, this is too much. So I'm going to take my eyebrow archer and I'm going to cut them some more. And right here, I'm just using my Nairobi Farming Lotion. 
as you guys know this is bay i love that stuff so make sure you guys go get you some and for the people who hate baby hairs and edges and all that type of stuff like y'all keep it to yourself because this is my hair okay if you don't like baby hairs just don't do them on your hair but the thing is this is my hair so let's calm down because it's not your head it's not your head okay so i'm just taking my nairobi foaming lotion i'm just gonna put that um over my hair a little bit more because i feel like this nairobi foaming lotion like i don't know it has some magic in it or something because it just like makes your lace really blend with your skin i don't know so right here i'm just coming out those baby hairs because we want them to look soft soft and light and you know natural and right here i am just gonna take my little hair down and like this is my hair this is my hair now we are one and y'all, I did over bleach this week just a little bit, so I am taking a little bit of my uh, mascara, and I'm just gonna go over the areas where I feel like I over bleached a little bit. So this is a little trick that you guys can do if you feel like you did a little bit too much, okay? And I'm also gonna take some of my, uh, not my, some, it is mine. My Ruby Kisses um, foundation on a small angle brush and I'm going to go down my part to make it look very straight and sharp. Okay. Oh yes, and in that previous clip where I was coming off my edges, I was in the middle of doing my makeup. So y'all don't be alarmed. I was, I was doing my makeup. Okay. That's all. That's all. So right here I'm just taking my pressing comb and I'm just um, pressing out my roots and I feel like no matter what with curly hair even though we're gonna wet it and get it all curly you want to always do this because I feel like it just gives your hair that sleek look so I have learned that this looks so much better when I do this so if you guys would like to try that out do it and if y'all like ever use some of my little tips and tricks let me know tag me on instagram and go follow me on instagram y'all okay so i'm taking some of my bio silk oil and i'm rubbing that over my hair because it's going to give me that shine that i want and after that we are just going to get this hair all nice and juicy and curly and you guys will see what products i will be using because i will show you guys i think i'm using the same old products that i always use but yeah, you guys will see in just a moment but y'all this hair is so freaking pretty like let's just watch let's let's watch together because i just love looking at this y'all it's just i don't know it's so satisfying but look at that hair though y'all oh my gosh curly hair in the summertime is just so sexy to me like get you some curly hair okay and goes to the beach that's what i want to do i want to go to the beach but yeah like look at that come on through door hair come through yeah so this is my leave-in conditioner that i'm always using and this stuff is bay i will put the name of this stuff in the description box below i hope i remember if i don't leave me a comment below and i will make sure i do that all right so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like this new method and stay tuned for the next video. Bye. It's the sweetest thing. And it don't change if I had it my way.